Hey guys, as you can see, we're sailing to Seattle and it's time to say goodbye to Alaska. Today it's going to be all about the animals. Bears, sea otters, eagles, sled dogs. Gosh, this is such a nice way to say goodbye to this Alaskan series that we were making for you. Let's go to enjoy with our little friends. Let's go. And this is my travel journal. Bears! Who doesn't like bears? Here in Alaska, nature is abundant. Mountains and trees, ocean and just few people. And that is perfect for wildlife. There are so many bears here in Alaska that there are some towns with more bears than people. The best and safe way to see them is going in a tour with a guide. You have tours in every Alaskan town to see them. When we were in Sitka, we went to the bear fortress to see some brown bears, the biggest from all the bears. These bears were rescued when they were little calves. The mother died crashed by a car, and they didn't learn how to hunt. If they were released, they would die. But here they're having such a good time. Look at the size of these beautiful animals. And they're still young, can you believe it? They keep growing until the last day of their lives. The brown bears are the biggest bears in the world. mother is there because she's seen, looking at us and she doesn't want to get close. We're going to try to stay a little bit away so she can come and also because some crowds were there bugging her for the food so let's see what happens. Mother ate the fish and she left so I guess the mother called the social services because mother like this. Come on, isn't this animal one of the cutest animals in the world? Every little detail in the life of this animal is cute. They sleep holding hands, so while they are floating, they don't get apart. Isn't that awesome? They use their stomach as a table to eat and play with tools. Yes, tools! When they find a proper stone to open the shells to eat, they stay with that stone forever. They even hide it when they go to sleep. They're not that easy to spot, but we were lucky and we saw many of them. Beautiful animals. To go to see the dog sledding in the snow is very pricey. 
especially because you have to go with a helicopter to see them. But here in Yuno, you can meet them in the camp where they train them for competitions, especially the 1100 miles one that they have to finish in 10 days. Do your math, that makes 110 miles they have to run per day. These dogs are amazing athletes, and the best of all is that they love it, really love it. When they see people, they want to run, they start to cry and jump, they are so cute. We can see the puppies and actually they let you play with them and carry them. That is actually part of the training, to socialize with people. We saw magnificent whales, lazy bears, cute otters and playful sled dogs. But the animal that really uh, impressed us, and it's not that cute and hairy, it's actually salmon. There are five types here in Alaska and they are coming home now at this time to lay eggs and die. Now it's a long way from the ocean and it's exhausting. Salmon now are one big pure muscle. Many of them are going to be catched by fishermen, seals or bears. Others are not going to make it upstream in the rivers and creeks where they were born because they are already too exhausted. But besides that, what is really fascinating is that the whole area depends on this salmon. When they die and decompose, they will feed not just bald eagles, but also smaller animals and microorganisms and even ground. And every tree in this area will have salmon DNA in their DNA. Many times life cycle is like this. Somebody has to die so the others can live. Beautiful Alaska, I know we're going to miss your pure air, your trees, your bears, your eagles, and all your good energy. We're really happy that we have the opportunity to come and visit Alaska, and I'm very positive and sure that we will be back. Goodbye Alaska, goodbye for now.